right now we're going to be starting a new series called A Score After A Score. In this mini series we will be looking at the games that we've played more than 20 times. I know it's sad to say, but we rarely get to play our favorite games that many times. The games that we do get to play more than 20 times, we want to take a good look at and see what is it about those games that give us that joy that we come back to over and over again. The first game that we're going to be looking at on a score after a score is Star Realms, which we've played 50 times. As you can see by my little box here, it's been well loved uh, by our child as well as us. Star Realms is a deck builder, and that's part of the reason I love it. This is it. There's no board, no meeples, no little timers or dice. It's just a deck of cards you can take anywhere and play with anyone. As long as the two of you like to play games with just the two you, it's a two player, only two can play. So this is how the game looks when it's set up. In most deck builders, you start out with a certain variety of cards. In this game, you start out with scouts, and these give you the ability to buy new cards. And you also have some vipers, and these little guys cause damage. These are, this is the trade deck right here where all the goodies are. So basically, you are upgrading your cards and getting an awesome deck. And you have to try and do the most damage or collect the best from the trade route that you can. The, the trade uh, federation based ship, well, it's trade federation. Are they all called that? That reminds me. The whole point of this game, <laughs> just bam, 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 cause a lot of damage. That's, that's basically it. Just a note, these are, you can kind of think of these videos more like a book report or an essay or a letter of love to these games. They are not how to plays. If you want to know how to play this game, you should look elsewhere. I want to give you the general idea of how this game feels and why we've played it so many times. So I'm going second? Yes. Okay. So I'm hitting you for one. <laughs> one point of damage. Okay. I'm going to buy that. That's all I can buy. One point of damage, and I have four to spend. Um, oh, there's nothing to buy. Alright, so I'll get two of these Explorer cards. The thing about this, that makes this game a lot of fun is the fact that it's quick and easy to come back to. We haven't played this game in at least six months. Six months? No, we played it this summer. Did we? Yeah. We haven't played it in a long time, and yeah. yet, like, you have to remember, you might have to remember, like, oh, how many, how much health do you start out with? Or right. Already? There's very limited rules but, to start with because the cards tell you everything yeah, you need to know. Pretty much. Symbols are easy to understand. All right, I have two, four, six, Ooh. seven. Why do you think we play this so much? It, I. Let me start, actually, because I was thinking about this for a while. I think it's because it's one of the first games we bought, so we've played it, we've had it the long, one of, some of the longest. Those are other games. It's two players, so the two of us play it a lot. Mm -hmm. And it is short, so you can just, like, play it two or three times in a row. And it's, yeah. It's, yeah, it takes 10, 15 minutes to play. Yeah. Sometimes less. So that's kind of why we racked up a lot of... Place. But the thing is, we're not bored. Right. We're not bored with it. It yet. strikes a good medium between being easy but to pick up, damage. easy to interrupt. If the kids come and need something, we can pause real quick. It's not a big deal. Okay. So I got a stealth power. I'm going for the blob. I love the blobs. Another thing that makes a game easy to pick up and play is the fact that it is just a deck of cards. I mean, it's a very large deck of cards. But you don't have a lot to set up. Yeah. And it's easy to carry around. You can carry this around in your purse or diaper bag or... And we, we've we talked about this before among like between the two of us that um, when we first were learning how to play it and it was new to us, how we got so sucked in to this world, it's immersive in a way that you don't really... 
you can't really justify it because all it is is like ships. Right. The artwork's okay, but like it's not like there's people or anything. But I think that's what is immersive about it. So much of your imagination can fill in the spaces. I don't know. It just kind of has that. It's kind of generic space, but generic space in a classic way. It kind of reminds me of Eve online with the different factions and the different theme of the ships. Yeah. Not in the gameplay really at all, but I don't know. It's just a good, sweet game. It's not trying to be more than what it is. Down to six. Okay, please be gentle with the cards, guys. When I play this with new people, one of the things that fascinates people or that people get excited and drawn to is the fact that, you know, if you build your deck with the same with the same factions, you can build on them and do combo stuff. And it, it's it's easy to pick up. I mean, it's not it it's not one of those games where you're like, oh, okay, so what cards play with each other? It's real easy. The yellow cards play too well together with the other yellow cards. It, and same with the red, green, and blue factions. You don't have to read stuff and be like, oh, should I pick this card up? What card does this work with? Mm -hmm. So even though that sounds like it's simple, it is simple, but it doesn't mean it's not fun. Yeah, it's simple, but it, it um, still, you feel like you feel like you did it. It makes it an easy game to play with people who never played a hobby game before, mm -hmm. but it also keeps it interesting even though you've played it 20 or more times. Yeah. When yeah. I first started playing games and dragging Jana into playing games with me, she wasn't always the most enthusiastic. It took her a little while to develop a love for the hobby. Yeah. So this was a one this of the games the that first. helped cultivate that. Even yeah. when she wasn't a, always excited to play games with me, this was a game I could get her to play enthusiastically. And that's how we managed to play it over 50 times. I think we've played this way more than 50 times, but we, yeah. we've... Um, sure, sometimes you just don't We have track. it ranked on uh, Board Game Geek as having yeah. like at least 50 plays. So. Yeah. So anyway, we hope that you enjoyed this game. We hope that you enjoy this perspective of playing games, um, of having played them um, more than 20 times. So let us know in the comments what you think, and thanks so much for watching. I just want to say, uh, oh. well, I just want to clarify that even though we've played this game over 50 times, yeah. it's a game we'll keep playing. Yeah, we won't I get mean... Rid of. I mean, it's important to say, because a lot of games... I, a lot of games that I like that are in our collection, if we play them 50 times, I think I'm ready to get rid of them. Yeah, but this is not one of them. No, this is good. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good long haul game. <laughs> All right, thanks again for watching. Bye.